I don't know about you, but for me, interactive videos are some of the most exciting things that you can do when it comes to video marketing. And for the last couple of years, we've used Interactor to create videos for local businesses as well as for some of my products and services. But today, I'm here to test out a brand new version of Interactor that's gonna take things to a whole new level. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna go in here to our Interactor review. I'm gonna hit select. And that's going to bring us to our canvas, which currently is blank. But you'll see over here in our media library, I've already uploaded a few different videos. One of these is the intro. One of these is the exit video. One is the English and one is the Klingon. And so I believe this is the, uh, the intro video. So we're going to bring that over here. And we're going to take our English video and put it here. We're going to take our Klingon video and put it here. And we're going to take our interactive ending here, interactor ending, and we're going to put it there. Okay. And so now what we've got is we've got the intro, we've got the two choice videos. You can choose from English or Klingon. And then we've got the ending here. So in this case here, these videos, both of these are going to end up going to this video at the end. So we just literally grab that play button and drag to there. Okay. So at the end of this one, it's going to go to the outro. At the end of this one, it's going to go to the outro. This here is our introductory video. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click this one and that's going to bring it here where we can play it. I don't know about you, but for me, okay, which is the video you already saw at the beginning. And so now what we need to do is we need to add our interactive elements to this. Now you can add a hotspot and this is great if, for instance, if I was to create animation in the actual video. So when I'm in Final Cut Pro putting all this together, if I had made some animated buttons and had them fly in here, then I could use the hotspot to just drag over each of those to make them interactive. It's kind of like the way that YouTube used to work. So the other option is a button, which is what we're going to use. You can also add text, dynamic text. You can add email. You can add custom HTML, an image, and a pop-up to your video. So we're going to do a button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to grab this button and drag it in here, just like so. We're going to give this button a name. I'm going to call it English. Okay. And I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to hit new. Okay. And here's our button. So we're going to double click to resize or change the text. So we're going to change this to English, just like so. Um, we could probably bold that if we wanted to. Might make it stand out a little better. We're going to hit next. Okay. And then it says pause video when shown. No, we don't want to do that. And we're going to come in here and we can choose to do nothing. We can have it play. When they click on it, it play, make it play something. We can have it open a URL. We can have it skip to a certain time. We can have an open, open up a pop-up or we can unpause the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put play, mo play node. And this is going to be English. So hopefully if I get the videos in the right order, that's video three there. And so I'm going to hit done. And now you can see here, we've got our button on the screen and we can move this around just like so, or we can use some of the uh, precision tools here. So horizontal and vertical position. Okay. To kind of change that up, we can change the height of our button and we're going to leave it at, uh, we'll say 50 there. Same thing with the width. You can do that. It's at 130, but we could make it bigger. In fact, let's do, uh, let's do 150 just to round it out there. You can choose the order that it's in and that, that can stay the way it is. You can choose the roundness. You make it round, you can make it square. Okay, so we're going to go with a 10. And of course, you can space the lettering out a little bit if you need to. So maybe something like that at a 2. And then you can change the color here if you want to. And you can choose the time. Now, the time is important here because in our video, at about 25 seconds is when I start to talk about the choices between English and Klingon. So we want to make sure that this starts somewhere around that 25 mark. So I'm going to take this and drag it over to here, right about 25. And so if we bring this here, I should start talking about that in just a second. To a whole new level. But before we get started and take a look and see if this really is a stud or a dud, you got to... So in fact, I'm going to change that. I'm going to, I'm going to say probably somewhere around here is where I want it to pop in, which is right about there is about the 29 second mark. So we're going to do it at 29. Okay. And so now if we, we can either save and publish this as it is, of course, if we go back, you'll see now we've got this blue line here, that blue line versus the green line. Green line means video. Blue line means some sort of interactive element. Okay. And so in here, this is the click that goes to video three. So we want to come back in and we want to do the same thing for video four. So we're going to hit 
button again and drag that in here. And this time we're gonna call this one Klingon. Okay, we're gonna hit next. And this time we're gonna copy. So we're gonna copy from the English one right there. Okay, so we're gonna hit next. And now we can come in and we can change that. So I'm gonna change that to Klingon. I'm gonna hit next. And now play node instead of three, we want this one to go to play node four. So now we're gonna hit done. And again, we're gonna resize this to match up with that one there. So they both come in about the same time. In fact, one to come in exactly the same time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our precision numbers here. And we're gonna click on our English one. And our English one says 29, whatever. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna hit the Klingon. You see it's a slightly different. So I'm gonna paste that in there to make it exactly the same. And so now we've got our two buttons in here, but we're gonna to need to come over here and take a look. Our Klingon's not quite where we want it to be, so maybe our English isn't either. We're gonna bring our English over here. I'm gonna put our Klingon right about there. And I think that looks pretty good there. It's gonna give people the options. One other thing I wanted to mention before we get out of this one is your interaction layer. And this is something that's really big in the evolution version of Interactor because now you can make your videos interactive like we just did, but you also have these pre-built animation interaction layers. Now I didn't use them here because I wanted to do something very specific um, and these are kind of pre-built and you use them. But if we come in here and we take a look, you'll see there's a whole bunch of different pre-made, ready to use animated uh, menus, so to speak. So you can come in here and do, like this one here is a, a social media one and it kind of turns it into a social media menu. So all of these can be used. The coffee shop is in some of the demos. Uh, so if you want to use one of these, you can. I chose not to for this one because I wanted to do something specific. And so we're going to leave it at that. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to save and publish this one. And if we head back here to our canvas, you'll see now we've got the blue interactive layers going to either one of these and then both of them going to the end. So we already published the changes. I'm just going to hit it again. And now let's take a look at the actual project. I'm going to go out here to our projects area. And I'm going to hit the share button just so it opens up the window. And here's our video. So if we take a look at this, I don't know about you, but for me, interactive videos are some Turn of that the down most a little bit here. And so if we go all the way down here, started, and take a look 26, and 27, really is a stud and there's our two options. English? English or Klingon. Klingon. And if I hit English, well, I am boom. Glad you chose English. Now notice how instantaneously it opened up the English one. It didn't take a few seconds. There was no pause, nothing like that. So I'm going to re refresh that and we're going to play it again. I don't know about you, but for me, Let's interactive videos are again. some of the most exciting. And go back again to the end here. Is a stud or a dud? You got to decide. Do Klingon. You want this review and do you honestly think I know how to speak Klingon? Okay, so you can see it very, very quickly loads that up there and it's going to go through. Now, this is just a very short clip here. Um, this doesn't have the full long clip because we're recording it as we do this. So I'm going to skip all the way towards the end here and I'm going to hit play so you can see what it does afterwards. But we're going to get through it and I'm going to show you how great this is right now. Well, there you go. That's Interactor Evolution. As you can see, a huge... Okay, so as you can see, it jumped right in there. Boom, went right to the end. Now, the cool thing is, one thing I can do with this, and I probably will in the final version, is I can put a button here that'll take you directly to the sales page. And then that way, you can purchase the product right from there. So look for that in the actual final video when you get to the end here. But uh, this is my quick little interactor uh, demo, so you can kind of see how this works. You can see why this can be so powerful. Now here, I'm just doing English and Klingon, but imagine if you're a gym and you're, you know, are you a man or a woman? And it's going to put you through the stuff for whichever one you choose. So if you choose a man, it's going to say, are you looking to lose weight or build muscle? And you can choose lose weight. And then it's going to go through this whole path so that at the end, the person can choose exactly what they need because they're a man looking to lose weight who works in the mornings and needs to work out at night. And so, boom, here's what you can get. Oh, here's a membership that, you know, allows you to come in either super early in the morning, late at night, and will help you to lose this much weight. It, it helps to do those types of things. We've used this with lawyers. So for instance, you know, hey, are you in a car accident or do you need bankruptcy help or are you getting a divorce? 
click on the one that you want. It's going to drive you right through and really make a big difference in your marketing. So that's Interactor. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. But please watch the demos. Watch the, the uh, watch Ryan's uh, webinar replay because that's going to be very, very important. It's going to show you a lot more than what I'm showing here. But overall, this is just an incredible product that really brings us the interactive video that we've always been looking for. And remember, you've got those interactor layers, and that can be huge. You can create some projects with some really cool layers that animate on and just make your videos look even more professional. And by the way, we should take a look at that. Before we go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that just because I want you to see... Uh, some of the things that we can do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come in here. I'm going to go back to our um, our video here. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to mess with this because then I can delete it later. So if we wanted to add an interaction layer to this, we could come in here. You hit interaction layer and you can choose one of these here. Like this one's really cool with the animated buttons there. Uh, all these different ones have the buttons. So if I wanted to do uh, let's do the social media one because that's kind of a neat one here. It gives you the social media. So we're at the end of our video. We want people to click on social media. So I'm going to select this and you'll see there it is. Boom. Follow us on social media, right? And so now you can come in here and you can choose one of these different pieces. And by the way, we can move them. They don't have to be in that spot. So if you decide, you know what, I want it to look kind of funky like this, you know, and, and kind of give it a more just a, a crazier look. We can do that. Any of these elements can be moved around. So this is not a stock, um, you know, in place item. You can come in here and you can do anything you want to these. You can move them around as you see fit to make it a little bit different. So you've really got control over this. And then of course, as you choose each element, you'll see that things over here change because this guy here, slide in bottom, this guy here is going to scale up horizontal center. So there's different types of animations that you can do on them. And of course, you can choose the duration of the animation, um, the delay. So if you want it to delay longer, so you can see here, you know, the they come in at different times. You can change that so they come in in, in different times. So you can change the, the height, the width, the stack order. Uh, here's the image source. If you wanted to change that with different types of, of uh, Facebook buttons, you could do that or anything, really. You could change this to say, um, you know, check out our four best products and change this to your four best products and then link to that particular area. So you can see it says like Arrow, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, but you could change any of that. Any of that can be changed, okay? And so when you get in there, you can also choose what this one's going to do. So for right, right now, when we say the Facebook button here, it, on click it does nothing, but you can come in here, you can have it play a video, you can have it open a URL. So for this, you would put in your Facebook URL. Or if you change these Facebook items to things you sell on your page, you could go to that particular page. Anything you want to do, you can do with this. And of course, if you don't like this one after you start uh, messing around with it, you can always replace this with a different element instead of the one that you have here. So it's just a very, very cool program that allows you to do a lot of stuff. And I wanted to share that with you because it's really what adds a lot of the fun. We did a very simple one for this, but you can get in here and do some really cool stuff. Well, there you go. That's Interactor Evolution. As you can see, a huge step up in interactive video. Not only is it easier than ever to create, not only does it look better in the new and improved player, but it actually looks better in the videos because you can use those great animated elements. So if you're ready to start using interactive videos for your projects or you're ready to start doing it for your clients, well, then all you have to do is click the link down below this video to get started right away. And of course, down the page, we've got bonuses that you can check out as well. And we even have a replay of the webinar. Hopefully, we're trying to get it on there anyway. And we even have the interview that I did with Ryan. So check all of those things out. And then of course, click the button so you can get into Interactor right now.